Hi viewers, welcome to all. Here we are discussing about your project FPGA implementation of the adaptive digital beamforming for massive array. This project presents the improving the quality of communications is a very necessary in recent technology. It's built the development of 5G network and the growth of various communication tools. A method known as adaptive digital beamforming is a one of the adjust the radiation patterns of an antenna array in response to the particular signal receptions that is desired. The adaptation that is based on the least mean square and its variance continues to be one of the creative strategy that is employed the most. The importance of the antenna has led to the creations of high performance hardware even though that LMS techniques provides a impressive counting performance. The platform such as a field programmable get array which Fab developed for large array antenna, it's provided designs that are both high performance and efficient with regard to energy consumptions. The proposed work of this paper presents a parallel implementations of the vast array beamforming utilizing LMS on FPGA shown with the conventional and XR Max full array designs. The beamforming consists of a spital filter and uh, an adaptation unit. This proposed work was developed at a Verla HGLs and synthesized on Xilinx Vertex 5 FPGA and compared all the parameters in terms of area delay and power. Now we can verify the base paper. This is a base paper title FPGA implementation of the adaptive digital beamforming for massive array. So this paper presents a 5G network based adaptive digital beamforming method. So here this is a one of the filter. Uh, here the figure one shows the high level system description for the hardware proposal. So here the proposal descriptions will be given in the section 2. Okay, so here they are given some equations 1, 2 and 3. So based upon the equations, uh, they are developed this architecture. So this architecture will integrated in two methods. One is a spital filter unit, another one is a LMS unit. Okay, so here we are given the input. This input we have given from the 5G uh, antenna based data sets. Okay, that antenna data sets we are given into uh, here and uh, it will be split into the spital filter unit and also for LMS unit the weight uh, for this uh, block it will be generated from the LMS unit okay and here we are calculated on here okay the desired signal also come from the data sets okay so here we are used uh, M minus 1 that means the M is the antenna okay so here the paper they are developed the M sizes 2, 4, 8, 16, 32 and 64. So here uh, in the 64 uh, size of antennas means it will take a more logic sizes and more work. For low cost purpose we are developed this work in uh, 8 antenna. Okay. So here X0 to X7 only we are given from the 5G input scenario. Okay. So here initially we are given the input to this X0 to XM minus 1 and it will be converted into the real and imaginary okay that real signal and imaginary signal will be given into the spital filter unit and LMS unit okay so this spital filter unit will have this architecture the figure 2 architecture the structure of the spital filter unit okay so it will have two uh, CMU okay so CMU means complex multiplier unit okay and PAT okay PAT means pipeline and a tree unit okay Add a tree unit okay so here this CMU architecture will be given on here the figure 3 okay so here they are used as a multiplication subtractions and addition okay for this multiplications we are used as a array multiplier and additions we are used as a ripple carry adder and uh, subtractions we are used as a ripple borrow subtractor okay so here the figure 4 uh, it will be showing the PAT method okay pipeline adder tree unit okay so after this CMU okay we need to add all the uh, bits okay that means uh, is that zero signal means every zero signals we need to add into the PAT okay that means real and imaginary part okay so that signal we are given into here and will be taken as a Y up okay? after this method uh, the LM S architectures we need to generate it okay that is uh, for the weight generation okay so here this is a LMS unit okay this internal architecture will be given on the figure 7 okay so X I and X Q and E I and E Q E I and E Q means it's a error signal so this error signals will be separated from the uh, desired signal okay after subtractions we will be taken this error signals okay so this all the architectures we are developed into the Verla HDL and for proposed method uh, we have designed all the full adders and half adders into the XRMUX architecture okay for area power delay detections okay so this is a 
test bench of the architecture for the existing method so this is a test bench okay here we are generated the 5g scenario based input signal for noise signal generations and desire signal generation we have used as a data sets okay so this data sets so this is a data sets okay so this is a noise signal okay we have two different data set for this project okay and uh, once it will be loaded uh, into the test bench uh, the top model will receive this uh, input signal si x02 xi x7 okay so it will given into the spiral filter unit and lms unit okay after that we have construct all the internal architecture okay so this simulations we have given in here okay so this is a simulation for conventional method and so this is a simulation for xr max method okay here you can check the output so this is a 5g inputs okay x0 to x7 and uh, this is a desire signal okay and this is the output okay so after some time uh, the frequency will be locked okay the frequency will come automatically okay so it's a original case okay so here also you can check the normal conventional method okay the output it will be present on here okay and uh, this two codes we have synthesized in xilinx vertex 5 fpga and uh, this is a area delay power report okay here you can check in the design summary it's a number of slice resistors number of values and number of occupied slices okay and you can check a delay in the synthesis report so delay will take 59.766 nanoseconds okay and you can check the rtl schematic for adaptive beam forming massive array so here you can check the rtl schematic completely okay so subtraction for error signal okay and lms unit and uh, spital filter unit so this is a spital filter unit okay so this is a cmu architecture it's having a array multiplier okay and uh, subtractor and the carry adder and lmu unit okay okay array multipliers and the ripple carry adder method okay so the total constructions of this work it will developed for eight antenna okay m equal to eight okay and uh, the same method will be constructed for the exermax uh, flutters okay so this is a area delay power report so here you can check the number of slice resistors number of values and number of occupied slices io base okay and you can check the delay okay delay will take 24.021 nanosecond and this is a rtl schematic for that okay and this comparisons we are updated in the comparisons document here you can check the comparisons for the two comparisons okay this is a comparisons analysis chart okay and we have written abstract document for this project so this is a base purpose abstract enhancement of this project existing system disadvantages proposed title proposed abstract advantages and proposed systems with related nodes okay literature survey and finally references okay thank you if you need more video related to vlsi project please like and subscribe this channel